Hi, thanks for coming back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you on how to replace uh, LCD screen on a MacBook Pro Retina display. I believe this is a 2013 or it could be a 2014 model. So stay tuned, I'll show you step by step. Okay, so at first, you need to verify what model that you have. And for mine, this is a MacBook Pro 13 inch. Um, there are some missing screws at the bottom, but that's okay. You get the concept is to get one of those Penelope screwdriver. This is a P5. So first thing to do is to remove all the screws. And again, I'm sorry not able to show you that um, all the screws that I have to remove because there are some missing screws um, at the back plate. So once you have the screws removed, you can just pry open and this the entire black, uh, the back plate will just come right off. If you see here, there are two rubber that covers up the, um, the hinges. They just come right off. You can put them aside. I use a torque screwdriver. This is a T8. I'm just losing all the screws before I remove them. So at this point, what I'll do is I'll make sure that I have the right cable for the right um, slot to go in once I put them back together. Uh, what I usually do is I'll label them using a Sharpie. Okay. You have to lift the plastic cover, get to this part, that's a cable. It's kind of glue on top, so you can just peel, peel it right off. And this would be the 40 pin connector. There's a a latch that latch onto the pin you want to make sure that you have the latch open before you remove the cable okay this is how you open up the latch once you have that you can just pull the cable out just like that So at first, I loosen up the screws. What I'm trying to achieve right now is to open up the hinge to about 90 degree, about this way. Then I can slide the screen um, out easily. So you open to about 90 degree, about this much. You flip it around. And go ahead and remove the rest of the screws. Make sure you have your palm holding the the back and support while you are unscrewing the the hinges. Ok, 
Okay, make sure you remember to have this metal position it before you you tighten it again. So once you have the six screws removed, you want to come back and remove this metal piece. I'm using a torque 5 screwdriver. This is the part I'm talking about, the metal. Make sure you don't have them mixed up. The left is for the left, the right is for the right. Okay, once you have that removed, your screen should just come right out. Okay, so that's how you remove the retina display and I'm going to change that with the new one it's very nice of them can use this to wipe the screen afterwards. The one that I purchased, it comes with the entire assembly. So the screen, the cable, everything is in one piece. So it makes the installation a lot easier. And I highly recommend you to do that. Do not get the one, the screen replacement where you can just, where they just sell the, the LCD screen and you have to open up the glass and all that, so it's a lot of work. But this one is easier. So the first thing I'll do is to open these two hinges to a 90 degree and that way I can slide it in. brand new so it's very tight okay so I have it about 90 degree angle Okay, what I'm trying to do right now is to slide the screen okay, and just slide it in. Okay, once you have the screen slide in. You want to align the position, make sure they they are aligned properly. So what I'll do is um, I'll put the screws on to just hold it for now. Do not screw it all the way in. Just make it firm enough to hold the screen itself, but not to tighten the screw. You want to come back later on to tighten, tighten up the screw.
Okay. You want to put this small metal piece back together. Now you want to come back and tighten the screw. Oops, I forgot. You have to have the metal bracket, the metal piece. You have to have the metal piece screwed together with it. So. Okay, once you have that ready, I'll put the cable back on, sort of like tape it back together. Okay, for this part, remember earlier I labeled the cable, but actually um, there's no use when you label the cable because when we replace the screen, the marker is not going to be on a new cable. Uh, I want to tell you is that if you see closely, there's a sort of like a tape to identify the cable. The shortest one would go to the far left. The one in the middle goes back to the middle. The one without the, the tape on it goes to the far right. Yeah, just like the Lego snap, you position it right and just snap it on okay I'll come back here for the 40 pin connector Just lock it tight. Close the back plate. Oh, before you do that. Okay. And the last piece is to cover the screw and the back plate.
Okay, let's see if it works. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please subscribe and click the like button below. And I appreciate your support. See you next time.